Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Boswell and I'm the podiatrist at Attune. So today I'm going to be talking to you about diabetes and diabetic assessments. So this is one of the most common things I do as a podiatrist. It's a yearly check that a lot of doctors will refer a diabetic patient for me to um, assess their feet and we'll do a run through of the various assessments that we do and I ask a lot of questions just to make sure your feet are in good health. So first of all, I'll go through the different um, assessments we do and then I'll talk about what can happen in the diabetic foot as well. So the first one is the Doppler ultrasound. So I use a gel on the foot and have a listen to the two main arteries in your feet. And then that's just giving me a good indication of blood flow. So blood flow is really important in the feet, which makes sense because it helps to heal any wounds or ulcers you may have. Even if you just have a little blister on the end of your toe, and you know if you didn't know it was there and it could take a while to heal in a long-term diabetic, that can become an issue because it can you know get infected and that and if there's not enough blood flow to heal it, it can take a long time, which can lead to other complications down the line too. So what can happen in a long-term diabetic is plaque, so reduced blood flow that lines the arteries and that just means that less blood flow will be getting down to your um, digits, so your toes and sometimes your hands, but it's more common in your feet. So that's why we always have a listen. Make sure that waveform is nice and healthy and, and getting enough down there, all the way down to the nails, which is why we look at your nail health as well, which is also very important. The other tests we do are the nerve tests. So the first one is a monofilament. Many of you have probably seen this one. It's sort of like a little bit of fishing line basically. And what we do is we apply that monofilament to different spots on your feet and make sure that you'll be able to feel it. The other test we do is the vibration tuning fork. So for those musicians out there, you've probably seen one of these. So basically we'll hold it on the side of your foot on a specific spot and make sure that you can feel the required amount of vibration. Both of these important tests are to measure if you have, as I mentioned, protective sensation. So that just means if you had a stone stuck in your shoe, would you be able to feel it or keep walking or would you feel it and remove it? So that's important to consider also with ulcers. So one, if you'd be able to heal it and two, if you would be able to feel something in your shoe or even a seam rubbing on your shoe or something like that, very important for reducing infection and uh, wound breakdown and skin breakdown of your feet. Um, usually what we do um, is we send the report back to your doctor at the end of the assessment. We'll just ask a few questions such as your sugar levels or your um, blood test results that you get when you're at the doctor's just want to make sure that everything's lining up and you're at a lower risk of complications. So thank you for listening to me today. If you have any other questions regarding the diabetes assessment or the diabetic foot, feel free to check out the website and have a look at some of those blogs online too. Thank you.